Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Click View Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Click View Learner, and in this video, I will talk about the Click View expressions. Expressions in Click View of different types. They can be string expressions, numeric expressions, logical expressions, or date expressions. Simply to serve the different uh, type of business needs for reporting and analysis. In my earlier videos. You must have seen the expressions that I've used in uh, different charts for demoing uh, the chart properties or you know how the different charts behave and uh, I mean uh, uh, the behavior that they show when you use the expressions within the charts. Let's see uh, some of the basic expression that we have in ClickView and uh, go a little bit in depth about uh, the different types of uh, flexibilities they give us. So for that uh, we will create a simple table uh, by using the chart option. So let's right click on the space, go to new sheet object and click on the chart. So let's create this simple table, straight table. Click next. Um, let's take a uh, dimension as year add click on next and enter the sum so when you actually enter the sum 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 and the brackets and let's take the sum of sales click ok and let's give a label as sales so for now let's finish this on finish so this is uh, nothing but simply you know sales values f in different years and this is uh, and the ro row just below to these header is is the total sales amount so this is a simple functionality and very simple table that we can create so if we pick any sales wrap you know the value will change for sales wrap very fine um, but suppose uh, you have a requirement you know where uh, you want to show the total sales suppose you just don't want the year uh, but just want to show the total sales like this irrespective of any sales rep or any selections you are made making or there can be a requirement that there should be a total sales but it should be tot in total for uh, a particular sales wrap or in a particular year so you can have different requirements based on your different business needs but let's just uh, first go through uh, the first requirement where I said uh, you know having the total sum irrespective of uh, any dimension where irrespective of any click on any dimension so for that let's right click on this chart go to properties so if you remove this you get a different options so this is like some set expression is one of the thing we will cover it in a future but we have distinct to have the sum of only distinct values all so all will basically help us satisfy the requirement where we will say sum of all sales so that will actually give us all sales and it will not change uh, based on any selection we are making on the dimension so let's click let's say all and sales click ok all right so now you are seeing here irrespective of year now the sales is similar they are all sales even if I click on any uh, sales wrap it will not change earlier you must have seen uh, it was changing according to my selection so if I click 2011 2012 2013 only the metric will show a less value in terms of just 2013 or any selection selected value but the sum will not change so 
now let's see in which scenario it will be useful so for example uh, you are trying to figure out the relative values or uh, the overall contribution in sales of 2011 2012 2013 then you can have this all sales as a denominator uh, for the for this expression so you must have sum of sales divided by sum of all sales which will give you the relative values for overall sales that we have in uh, these three years another option that we have uh, apart from all uh, within the sales function is uh, the total function so uh, I'm sorry the total option so the total option is basically you know give you the same result if you do not have any dimension selected but if you select any dimension like any sales rep or anything it will give you the total sales for that sales rep irrespective of the dimension you have picked up here so what I meant let's just uh, change the option I going into properties now uh, I have already put it sales uh, the total sales earlier it was all if you remember so earlier it was all and now it is total okay so what I meant if I click on any sales wrap you can see the value is changed but the value is similar so the value is not changing according to the years but in all the years it is giving the value for all the years uh, that's what it do uh, the total function and in the case of all function it the the sum function will not uh, the sum function will not uh, changing the value based on the selection you are making on a sales wrap or any other dimension the other option that we have uh, in these general functions is uh, distinct so if I right click and go into properties and instead of total if I write distinct what it does uh, it will pick up only distinct sales figure somehow uh, it is not useful uh, in case of a sum but it is very useful uh, in case of average where you just want to take the average of uh, I'm, I'm sorry the count where you just want to take the count of uh, distinct values how many distinct values you have uh, in your database and uh, that way uh, you know you might want to satisfy some business condition so there are many other uh, things like uh, set expressions and this is also very useful uh, a useful way of doing the uh, condition based summing or averaging or counting so that I will cover in my future videos but in this video I wanted mainly I wanted to cover the distinct all and total uh, options of the sum function the similar uh, options you will find in average or count so if I say average AVG in the brackets if I say, show you the expressions there you can see you have distinct all total similar is the case uh, for count function also so this is how uh, you can uh, change the mode of uh, different uh, functions by you know utilizing the proper options and uh, then you can satisfy your business conditions by applying the uh, particular formula with particular option so this is pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video i'll meet you uh, in the next video with a new topic on expressions till then bye bye